the place um, will rely on you as, uh, I mean, the personal personalities that you are? Or do you think it, um, it can be there and at some point, um, you know, be a thing that does not rely on the founders of a project? Uh, but maybe that's a lot of, Absolutely. a long time. It, it's an idea. Ideas live through millennia. This idea, it's an idea about doing something better to make the world a better place. That people come through and they can add to that. Like I said, I'd love to do, to be out of here in, in 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 six, seven years, have the debt paid off, have part of my ownership of the place sold off, and be building these places other places. Or doing my art. How do I want to get rich? I want to get rich by getting not rich, but I want to be well off enough so I can, you know, live. By maybe selling my artwork because this place gets gets known, or by maybe because somebody digs this space and we put together a team, we develop other fantasy spaces that other people can use yeah. that are really human, humane. Or maybe it's because well, my book sales go through the roof because the, the ideas are very good. People get to you know I don't need to make money off of this thing. It's like it's like the new model, like the internet model. Make something great, give it to them for free, and make money off the advertising, right? You know what? I would love to make money off of advertising if I had really low, like people could pay to like a little bit like a really good bio green, healthy organic, really good people who are good doing good things who could pay to advertise on our platform, right? And spread the good word out of people actually doing good things, good social services, charge a fraction of the price for advertising, right? Maybe you put all the advertising on a specific page so it's not in people's face because I hate that. I hate when ads pop up. And I, I, it's so disrespectful. I think people would much rather go to a site where all the good news is and where they can interact with people in meaningful ways. And oh, by the way, I think I do need a new uh, pencil holder or whatever. Well, let me go and see the advertising section and see who they're associated with. That's how we redefine things. That's how we. Do, I don't want. I don't want to get rich on a cafe. It's not going to happen. There's other ways to do it. There's other what models. So to, the way we can we can all support each other and different values of. Oh, what about this, the the social or the um, social socio political structure of the project? Right. You as the founders, it's, it's obvious that you you probably have a veto right if if someone wants to do something that you consider not being. Uh, along the lines of your, you know, your co your concept, your your um, dream. Um, how how do you how do you work with that, and how um, how is it going to be, um, you know, decision making processes? How are they going to uh, like if if you decide are we going to put time and energy into this or into that or into everything or who can who, who gets the space when with which initiative and all these things um, how are you are you going to uh, organize that like, like basic democracy or, or are there going to be any rules that you set up but I think that's the main difference to like normal um, leftist collective projects that so we don't start with a big group and like with the basic democratic process that was to be at Scott, as per Scott and I joined in. And it's like, okay, that's the idea. And so our model is we provide the uh, uh, the um, ground or like we say, okay, we build the uh, platform where pe that people can use. So of course now it's us who have like the idea and the direction, but we invite people to join and we're open and we let a lot of things happen. So yes, it, it depends on us, but we have the good will to, to be very open and very integrative and let a lot of things happen there and see where it goes. Right. It's also about curating stuff. That, you know, if I'm going to have something in this space, right, whether it's music or whether it's art, or whether it's a lecture, or a seminar, or whatever it is, I want to make sure that it's of a high level of quality, a certain level of quality that comes with it, right? And then it's got some pretty good goals to fulfill it. 
So the answer is, it's, 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 it's every project and everything that comes into the space will be evaluated, you know, on its own merits, differently. And we'll, sometimes we'll disagree, like, I'll think like, well, I mean, we've had some of this time, sometimes, this discussion. Like, I don't want the place to turn into a leftist place, you know? I don't want this to be like a leftist politics place, because I've done, I'm done fighting. I'm like, we're trying to build alternate realities. You know, so it's like if some of the guys gonna come in there and tell me how much he hates this and how we should go wreck this and do that, and I don't want that in the in the space necessarily. Maybe she she's maybe she'll well she has a different take on it. She want something more radical. Yeah, sometimes we need something more radical, and we'll go back and forth and back and forth. And maybe on balance, okay, all right, maybe we'll do one or a couple of things. We'll do some of it. It depends. It's an organic process. So you you in a way you're gonna be good dictators. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. well, we've heard about good dictators, <laughs> and we've heard about revolutions, we've heard about a lot of things. And one That's thing cool. that any real change in human consciousness requires is a lot of time, and a lot of patience, and a lot of small transformations that lead to something real. Trying to change something from the top down, or an imaginary revolution from the bottom up that throws away the czar, or whomever, we know what that brings. It's not going to happen. It's going to be it's going to be violent, it's going to transform things, the most violent elements will take over, the most extreme elements take over. Uh, you know, even in the United States we see the most in, in the social process, we've seen the most extreme elements take over, certainly the American right. And the American left is just either disintegrated, you know, or becoming polarized as well. You know, nothing's happening, you know, that's any good, you know. So it's 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 really Not doing things fine. sorry. It's really doing things that you understand that you're contributing to something, maybe not for yourself, maybe not even for your children, maybe your grandchildren. I have just became a grandfather, and I want to do something, and I, the things actually I've tried to do in my life have been to sort of bend the growth and bend the curve, you know, and be patient. Because I know that I'll never live to see the solution of all the problems that we're facing in this, in this world. But I mean, I'd like to just bend it a little. And each person bend it a little, and maybe that works. It's, 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 it's not only changing the society, it's changing the self. You know, and, uh, and, and how it, 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 not only making the world a better place every day, but making, in a way, improving yourself a little bit. And that contributes to the stream of consciousness of how things happen, I think. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe this place. I, I see it, I see it, it's an improvement, it's a visual improvement, it's an aesthetic improvement. Pens occur a little bit. I want to contribute something to that energy. I don't think I'm going to change the world here. I tried, <laughs> I tried to get everyone on answer. <laughs> Didn't work. Couldn't get everyone on answer all at once, and I'll have the same idea. Didn't work. Felt like it would at one time. It feels a bit like it's time for the closing statement. <laughs> no, I don't. That was mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. What do you think? Is it the closing statement? I mean, like I, I, I want to say something. I, I, I try to make one out of my remark. So I think if you say it's it's like the good dictator, <laughs> what they call it, right? Um, you know, it's like it's like a princess and garden, right? So we all alone, we love, we think it's a great work, they are here and we have. So they have two chefs who do this. So they are a social business, how they're organized. So, you know, in one way you say, okay, they are like the tears and stuff, but you see, they just do the business there and it's awesome what's blossoming there in this garden. So, um, and I think of all plays, also, but it's an idea of like a a neighborhood garden, but so it's it's like it's a neighborhood, so it's a place where where people can come and they do stuff together, and you see what is, and and you and, and some kind of culture can build there because it's a space where people go because they think it's nice and they can. So um, I hope it will. I think what is like the. I find it's like the new idea of our concept is that it transforms the idea of neighborhood gardens into rooms. And I say it's like a space where you can grow plants, but where you can grow 
good ideas or, or uh, social networks and connections and meet people. Um, and I hope this idea to have more spaces like neighborhood gardens or similar things spread through that. Do it yourself. Co-working, co-creation, social media startup, organic art. These are all sustainability. These are all the buzzwords that are out there now. Corporations are throwing money at this stuff. People are throwing the ideas out there. It's, it's, it's all out there. Now, what I see is happening right now, it's like, especially with the social media startup in the, here in Berlin, it's like the beginning of the next internet bubble. Because people don't care what they're social media or what they're co working on or what they're co creating. It's just about doing it, you know, and doing it over and lots and lots and lots. But they're practically handing us the keys to the city now. There's so much hype and so much money. The government wants everybody to be self standing and all this other stuff and crazy. They're handing us the keys to the city. And if we can't do that here in Berlin, if we can't make something happen here in Berlin where it's cheap and initiative and all that, where else can we make it happen? Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for being here, everybody. That was wonderful. I, I also want to say to everyone how gracious it is of the majority of you to speak in a second language so that I can uh, I can understand what you're saying. <laughs> and I, just, I really want to thank everyone here for that. Really a nice thing to do. Thank you. <laughs> one last, one last, one last announcement before you guys go or disperse. Oh, you can stay and have drinks. Yeah, but <laughs> come by and pick up one of these. Right? This, this, this coming Monday, we have a big event, a launch of our crowdfunding campaign at Flux FM. Flux Bow. It's an amazing space. It's right on the water. They're giving it to us for free. It's like, and uh, we're going to have a great panel discussion with Isaac. Will be on the panel. Christina Ring, the former uh, the, the founding director of the German Architecture Center. Adrian Goller, who is the, uh, the former culture senator for, from Berlin. Daniel Daum, who's a scientist and uh, a researcher for the Club of Rome type stuff. And Ella Cake will be moderating, moderating from um, start next. We'll have a fantastic DJ, the Heinrich Maneuver. He's gonna, and we're going to have a great jazz rare groove band that will play first. And then later, they're gonna, I'm, I'm going to live dub them out while they jam, or one of the guys jams, or some of the guys jam with the DJ. So it's gonna be a real live, super killer experience <laughs> all around. Plus an open idea workshop, where you actually get to work, hear the panel, right? And after the panel is done, you get to get busy and work with other, all these other people, and all these people, groups that are coming there to do stuff with. So lots of folks will be there. Beta House will be there, and, and um, uh, well, so handle, handle date and lots of different groups. So you can just pick one of these. This is the, the, the flag. It's free. It doesn't cost a damn thing to come in, right? And some great music, great ideas, and great art. You can contribute all night long. Right here. Yes. What's the address, Scott? Oh,